I took all my creativity. Yeah. It's okay, that's pretty good. One, two, three, up. Bring it out, bring it out. Press! Nice, there you go, good rack. Today we're uh, working on some uh, like bench press openers. We're prepping for the uh, ST Classic. Really, really fired up about the ST Classic. We have uh, Charity Witt. We've got my buddy uh, Ben Alderman, Jason Kalipa. We've got Jay Cutler coming on Sunday. Um, there's just a shitload of people. Uh, uh, Sean Baker's going to be there. My brother's going to be there. Matt Vincent will be there. My fattest friend ever, Jesse Burdick, will be there. We got Ryan in the competition, a uh, world record holding golfer. How unconventional is that? And uh, Ryan's going to be competing wearing a slingshot. He's uh, successfully done a 585-pound slingshot bench in the Mad Dog slingshot. But he kind of does his own version of bench press because he doesn't want to... Uh, kill his shoulders and stuff like that so today we're working on him going a little bit more full range he usually presses kind of like goes halfway down and so today we're going to work on full range and kind of see what that looks like but I still think he'll be able to put he'll be able to put up some uh, pretty impressive weight so I'm excited I think this will be a really cool uh, opportunity for Sacramento to kind of see uh, all the different people all the different mutants that we have and uh, for me for today I'll just probably move 405 around a couple times We're gonna open up at 405, and then my second is 450, and then I think the third is, or max is 501 or 502, somewhere around there. Have you, uh, have you competed in, in powerlifting before? Never, never. I mean, that's why we were working a lot of my form and technique today. I mean, I've never really, I'm a golfer, so the powerlifting's new to me, but it's fun, and that's why I'm here, and um, it'll definitely help me become a better golfer, a better long driver. You know, it's the point of being a, an athlete is to adapt. As we get older, our body does different things. So incorporating new, fun, and exciting things is a good challenge for my body. The reason I never benched is because I never really had proper technique, nor was I comfortable with doing it. So I, when I work out at home, it's a lot of incline, dumbbells, things like that. But benching, I mean, pretty much everything today was foreign to me. So, But it was fun. I learned a lot, which was cool. Now I got to practice and practice and kind of get thrown in the fire on Saturday. But you know, I'll adapt and I'm an athlete, so it'll be a good challenge. Press! You shouldn't be so concerned about where you start. If you're overly concerned about where you start, where you're starting, then you're starting too heavy. You're going a little bit too heavy. So your opening attempt should be something that you can easily do on any day any day of the week and twice on Sunday uh, for three reps. The second attempt should be something that you can do for two. And then your third one where you have the opportunity to kind of roll the dice, but you have a lot to prove to yourself, to the judges and to the people that are there that you know how to lift. And so they've never, if they've never seen you before, if you're new, they're not gonna be used to you. They're gonna see you, uh, your opening squat, and they're be like, this guy has no idea where depth is. Wow, that was awful. Then your next attempt, same thing, and then your third attempt, even if you go low enough, they're already kind of halfway against you. Not that they wanna see you fail, but it just gets to be hard. And also, you know, don't go up in weight. If you miss the attempt, even if it's a technicality, if you're not a seasoned lifter, do not add weight to the bar. It will not make it easier. <laughs> it's gonna make it more difficult. Uh, remember your commands, you know, check with whatever federation you're competing in and uh, you know, some, some federations allow your feet flat and there's a lot of different rules, a lot of different federations. Communicate with some people and say, hey, what, are the, what exactly are the rules? What am I supposed to do? And make sure you can replicate that in your training. So again, first attempt, something you can do for three. Second attempt is something you can do for two. And then the uh, third one is where you can kind of roll the dice and say, you know what? I want a PR. I want to see what I can do. Everybody saw today that lifted. We're all doing the uh, ST Classic. And so we're really just trying to find openers. Um, I was already made aware of mine a couple of weeks back. And so mine was established, so I just moved around a little bit for today. Andrew, we got a good opener for him, I'm confident with. And for Ryan, 
uh, we got a good opener for him as well. Went on some over some technique stuff, and there was a few things that he was doing um, that were not going to allow him to lift the most amount of weight. wasn't the most efficient thing, and so have him just pull his rib cage up a little bit more. And a lot of people when they bench, they think their shoulders need to be like tight and in position and stuff, and so they'll kind of get they'll do a lot of this stuff where the shoulder comes up. And they're not paying attention to the shoulders need to be locked in. They need to be down and back. And same thing when we're deadlifting. Same thing when we're squatting. So something to really think about. Something that really helped Ryan today. Really working on that positioning and keeping that back uh, really tight. And when you're going over openers, it's important that you reinforce the form and technique that you're going to use in the competition. That you're reinforcing it in every single training session that you do. All the way from your warm-ups all the way to back offsets, whatever you're doing has to be dedicated towards what you're doing in a competition to maximize the results. Strength is never weakness, weakness never strength. Catch you guys later.